Oh, yeah. See, we plan ahead. That way we don't do anything right now. Earl, explain it to me. There could be another remake just like that, Kevin. You know what I'm talking about? Are no. you an enemy of mine, Kevin? Ah. Uh, I am not. Because I am not. Enemy Mine is getting remade with uh, Star Trek Picard Season 3 showrunner Terry Metalis. I don't know how I feel about this. I really like the movie. Never read the books it was based off of, but he's been uh, he's been hired to uh, write the script. He hasn't been hired to direct yet, but he might end up getting that. It kind of depends. Mm -hmm. He's working a few different projects currently, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. But I really like the 1985 movie. It's a lot of fun. It's very dramatic, and it, it's kind of a little tropish, but because you see it in a bunch of old science fiction TV shows and movies from around that era. But it's a pretty good story about a human and an alien currently in the, embroiled in a war. They get stranded on a planet together. They have to help each other in order to both survive. And it turns out, like later on, like you know, the alien creature's pregnant, has a kid, and then he becomes the pseudo father then they eventually get rescued spoiler alert everybody i mean it's from 1985 mm -hmm. look it up but you know it was a fun movie it's also a very long movie so if you're interested in seeing it i know it's on streaming services you can easily check this out um blu-ray is really hard to find it's out of print it's very expensive don't try and do that unless you really want to pay an exorbitant amount of money on ebay for that it, it's not worth that kind of money. It's a good movie, but it ain't worth like the hundred dollars that people are charging on eBay for. Oof. Holy shit! Damn. Just go get the DVD or find it streaming. Just to give it a whirl. And Dennis Quaid does a really good job in the movie, and so does Louis Gossett Jr. Without oh, those sure. two, I don't think mm -hmm. I would have liked the movie as much as I did. But they they handle it very well, and it's a very it's a very good movie. Definitely a cult movie. Never hit like yeah. true major success level, but most people who have seen this movie are are fans of it. Rewatchability is kind of like the 2001 A Space Odyssey. You kind of have to be in a mood for it. So yeah. every few years, you'll want to like throw it in and just be like, yeah, that's right. That actually was a good movie. Mm -hmm. It's just one of those you can't like watch it like seven times in a row and really dig it. So. But will this be that successful in the theaters? Because that's was the question. The, was the original that successful in the theaters? Or as you said, was it a cult film that like uh -huh. it's on HBO all the fucking time as we're growing up? And, and that's where I saw it the first time was on HBO. <laughs> and to be full disclosure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, God, I hate to quote the meme, but just because something's on HBO all the time when we were little doesn't mean it's cult. Yeah. Well, um, don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. That's a cult film. Everybody fucking yeah. liked that movie once it hit VHS. <laughs> but even not Mike... the remake. No, no. no. Like, even... Nobody even remembers there was a remake that came out earlier this year. Yeah. Like, even Don't Mike originally asked like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look up Blue Waffle before you look up Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. <laughs> I'll go watch this <laughs> thing, you know? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> people are like well okay blue wow yeah but he's currently scripting it so we'll see but uh skeeter it sounded like you're familiar with this film you got any thoughts on that yeah i i remember watching it like you saw it on hbo when i was younger but we had a teacher in school that was a big fan of it okay. and he's we had to read the book which was i i used to remember the name of it what the book was but now uh you know it's just they're on a desert island not on a isolated planet okay. and it was two different warring countries but yeah we read it and i was like oh this is a really good story and then i watched the movie again and i'm like okay yep i can make the connection everything flowed together really easy even though it was on a different world sure but it, it still worked okay. um i'm making another one uh, i don't know yeah, kind Does of depend mean, what kind of politics they want to force into it if they're going to do that. But Terry Metalis isn't really known for doing that. So yeah, so that's that's a good thing about it, that. But is it going to be politically correct too? Because the '85 
there's a lot of stuff you can't do or say like they do now. Yeah. So, but maybe, you know, maybe a guy will have a baby. You never know. Well, Possible. well, speaking of uh, <laughs> people having babies, Kevin, we got another head that we can get into some TV reviews now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's do it. Who's having a baby, Kevin? Uh, space and is it a girl? 